Across Africa, climate change is causing widespread losses and damages, including in urban areas. Cities and urban areas are centers where people and infrastructure, money and power are focused. They concentrate climate change impacts, but also offer tremendous opportunities for bold climate action. As climate change escalates, cities and urban areas will become hotspots of climate risks, which could worsen other stresses related to poverty, exclusion and governance. Over two-thirds of African cities are already highly vulnerable to climate shocks and water shortages. More and more people are moving into cities. In fact, Africa is the most rapidly urbanizing region in the world. Almost all people and ecosystems outside of urban areas are connected to urban systems through personal ties, infrastructure, trade and resource flows. So, climate shocks that affect urban areas also affect these people and ecosystems. Climate change related heat waves, droughts, flooding and landslides have already caused deaths and disease, destroyed homes, livelihoods and critical infrastructure. The resulting damage to businesses, both large and small, reduces incomes and harms the economic well-being of people engaged in informal employment, who make up two-thirds of the African urban workforce. Almost 60% of Sub-Saharan Africa's urban population live in informal settlements, where people find it particularly hard to cope with crises and recover from climate shocks. In addition, Informal settlements are often located in areas that are particularly vulnerable to damage, and they are growing rapidly. Climate change is causing longer and more severe heat waves. Cities trap heat, creating an urban heat island effect which is made even worse by poor ventilation and insulation. Informal housing built of metal sheeting can be several degrees hotter than outside. Heat absorbed during the day keeps cities hotter at night as well, so people are unable to recover from the daytime heat stress. Sleeplessness also affects mental health severely. In North Africa, urban areas have 10 times more dangerously hot nights than rural areas. Urban flooding can also exacerbate health impacts by damaging medical facilities and disrupting medical supplies. Both drought and flooding impact sanitation, which can result in a growing burden of waterborne diseases, for instance those that cause diarrhea. People are trying to adapt to climate change with little formal help or planning from national or local governments. There is only limited evidence of successful, proactive, planned adaptation, with 89% of Africa's cities reporting no adaptation initiatives. Currently, Africa is on the brink of making major decisions about the type of infrastructure it builds as it grows, develops, and industrializes. This will lock in patterns of exposure to climate shocks and energy consumption that will persist for decades, if not generations. Globally, cities contribute around two-thirds of total greenhouse gas emissions. New urban infrastructure can either increase urban greenhouse emissions or help leapfrog to a low-carbon future. Without explicit policy action, the energy sector will not be decarbonized. You know, adaptation and mitigation, they are complementary, um, just like two sides of a coin. While adaptation um, tries to cope with um, the evident impacts of climate change in terms of mitigation, we're trying to reduce greenhouse gases, you know, the emissions. We can do a lot in this respect by making sure that you have good municipal or public transport system so that more people will use the public transport and instead of having many cars on the road, thereby increasing the greenhouse gases emissions, we encourage the use of solar energy, for our electrification, even the kinds of materials that they use for the construction of their buildings, um, many of them are not the best. The impact of climate change are increasingly being felt at the city and urban level. 
Transformation in urban areas and infrastructure is a key system transition that would support climate resilient development. Cities provide a significant but time-limited opportunity for rapid and transformative global climate action that can only be realized if national policies and funds support the actions of sub-national governments. By focusing climate action in cities and urban areas where so much of the infrastructure, people and climate change impacts and emissions are concentrated, it is possible to make major and transformative changes quickly and at scale.